Hi everybody, Eugene here with Darkroom Software. In this quick video, we are going to learn how we can use the new variables options to rename folders and file names on output with Darkroom Core. So this is something that was recently added, and it's been in Darkroom Pro with the raster printer for a while, but we've added it to the digital delivery option, or uh, the create digital media option. So let's go ahead and jump right in. We'll crank up the music, and let's get started. Okay, so here we are on my computer. I have a catalog created with subcatalogs. And what we're going to do is we're going to just select one of these images and click this package right here, Save to File. And you'll see right here that it creates a folder structure with the subcatalog name. So if I click on that image, there is that image. I can do the same thing with a, a normal uh, catalog. So if I select this image and click on Save to File, we'll go back one step. And you can see it's using the catalog name. So let's see how this was actually set up in our setup tab. And we'll go to our packages. And uh, here we go. There's my saved file package. And I have this folder selected right here. And you can see it all the way up to right there. And then I have this variable. So let's say instead of the um, the catalog name we want to use the order number well we can go into our variables right here and I'm gonna select order ID and there's a whole bunch of different options here so it's a good idea to kind of look through and see which one might work best for you um, and another thing we'll do is let's say for the file name we'll go with file name short or let, uh, what we'll do is we'll actually go with uh, catalog so we get the catalog name and then put in some sort of divider and then we'll do the file name and we'll test it out and I'll show you what that kind of does it's very similar to what we were just looking at but just a different option so we have a, another image right here and we're going to click number four and it should process and we can see here's the order number we double click on that we now have the um, individual's name based and that's coming from the catalog name and then we have the original file name uh, if we want but that is using variables to do renaming on catalogs and file names thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time Thanks again for watching. If there's a topic that you want to learn a little bit more about, be sure to comment below, like, subscribe, and click the little notification bell so when we, we release a new video, I'll let you know. Here's some other videos you might like. Most importantly, thanks for being a customer. I'll see you next time.